what has happened is a colossal military disaster. We shall go on to the end. We shall never surrender. Mark and Barry, nice to meet you. Congratulations yeah. on the film. It's Thanks, brilliant. Sir. Thanks. Mark, I read Chris Renault and said you were the first actor to board this project. What was it like seeing really young talent and brilliant talent like Barry coming on board? Oh, it's it? really exciting. Really exciting. You know, not only is he he's a brilliant actor, but he, he's got such a lovely um, ambition. <laughs> I never look at his face. No, it just makes me cry. Um, but because I feel so bad about how I look compared to Barry. But, uh, You're being hard but he, on yourself, Mark. What? You're being hard on yourself. Oh, I don't know. I'm being honest. But he, um, but he, he, you know, he's not just he's not in it just to make money or be famous. He wants to. He's got real taste. He wants to work with the top directors and be involved in class projects. And it's lovely to see young actors with that kind of um, care for the profession, you know, and for the craft of filmmaking. Because if if people aren't that way, then then the films will just become crap. Yeah. The call went out. We have to go to Dunkirk. Ready on the stern line. What are you doing? You know where we're going. Into war, George. I'll be useful, sir. One of ours. And this film is absolutely incredible, epic, and it's a beautiful story of survival. Um, when you were filming it, Chris Reynolds described it as an intimate epic. Did it feel in intimate when you were on the set, even though it was obviously so huge? Yeah, it sure did, yeah. It did, yeah. I mean, it was like a little short film of ours, wasn't it? You know, because the three different stories and that, the sky, the beach and the, the sea. Yeah. It was like we were filming our own little thing, like, you know. Yeah. And for such a big uh, camera, the man just had him had it on his shoulder. Yeah, you know, right on the boat next to us, and so, and necessarily like you, there wasn't really <laughs> any shelf. lighting or anything. I can't. There wasn't much. It was almost like making a home movie with pals, except yeah. it was a massive big camera. Yeah, and that we had Spitfires as well, and and battleships like you know, what I mean? Where are we going? Dunkirk. I'm not going back. There's no hiding from this son. Killian Murphy is absolutely brilliant as the, the soldier that yeah. you rescue. Yeah. Um, I feel like his character really encapsulated the true horror of war. You can just see it in his eyes. Did you feel like the acting alongside him, that was what he was putting across? Sure, the man yeah. was in shock. The man was in shock, wasn't he? And I didn't. we don't know what's happened to him, and he's not able to tell us. Mm. We just see him on that. We just, you know, discover him, and and he's the first real... He's the, we see other men on the boat, but he's the first one that gives us a sense that we're entering a, a desperate situation. Before that, we just think we're going to get some people off a beach. Yeah. But then when we meet Killian, we realize, oh, this is, this is much worse than the government has told us. Governments don't like you to know how bad things are going. <laughs> and do you feel like he was the perfect actor to play that part? Yeah, he's a grand yeah, actor, he, yeah. he nailed it. You know, he's really afraid. Like, I had to do things before that. Before he came on, like to make him afraid, because he, you know what I mean, didn't I? I had the trend and I was like, get afraid, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I'd yeah. say he was shaking in his boots. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Telling you. And I feel like your characters, um, they really encapsulate kind of the everyday heroism of the people that hadn't signed up to war but have gotten involved, maybe full heartedly in some cases. But um, do you do, did that affect you emotionally more than you would have thought? Sure, when you, when you remember the ghosts of the people who actually did something like this and and we're going to be associated now through the medium of film, yeah. always with them, um, though we didn't do anything like that. It, uh, you, you, you obviously feel you, you want to be as true to them as possible. Chris had written it very truly, so there wasn't much we had to worry yeah. about. These are real people, like, you know what I mean, from the coastal town. And, and you were saying there were quite a, f a few Irish soldiers was, involved yeah, in that oh, expedition. Yeah, the was involved, like. The filming conditions were obviously challenging for all the actors. Um, what did nah, you do? It was sunny for us, wasn't no? it? No? You, yeah. You're all right? I got a tan on all and that. I just, it was all the girls who were hanging around for Harry Styles. It was Barry who yeah. was. Well, I was Barry? screaming, Barry, Barry. I was like, ah, give her Barry. I was Barry. Yeah, I, I was like, know Harry. Barry. They're not calling Harry, they're calling Barry. Like, and then we, we let Harry think that you were calling Harry. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Cause well, that's very good of you. Yeah, you know, you have to. Like. <laughs> so what did you do to unwind after a day's shooting? Mint tea. 
I can't tell you that, yeah. No. <laughs> Mint, I, mint tea. I, I discovered you liar. Mint tea. I'm telling you now, I don't even drink tea. <laughs> I was drinking mint tea. I was eating the mint leaves and all of us. <laughs> well guys, congratulations again. Thanks very much for talking to me. Yeah, nice. Cheers. Cheers.